Hey guys, my name is Jeremy and in today's video I'm going to be talking about six Chrome extensions they may actually save your life as a college student. Now whether you're taking online college classes or in-person college classes, obviously you have to use some kind of web browser to access your information and the internet. And Google Chrome is a really popular web browser out there, so today I'm going to be going over the six extensions that you'll need as a college student. If you're new to my channel, my name is Jeremy and I post college content videos weekly, so be sure to hit that subscribe button down below so you don't miss a thing when I post. So that's enough talking about me, let's just jump right into the list of the six Chrome extensions. The first First one on the list is going to be my bib and that is going to be an automatic cider extension so basically you could cite your articles and your sources and your preferred style now my preferred style in my college is the mla8 format now what's great about my bib is that it just basically grabs the link that you're looking at it tries to find the author tries to find the published date and obviously it writes down the access date of whatever day today is or the day that you're accessing it and it basically makes a citation from it that you could easily copy to your bibliography. Now the kicker is they also allow you to make your own bibliography using their own extension. So you could basically sort by author's last name and first name on their own bibliography page using your citations and you can eventually download them later on and eventually copy and paste it into your Word document of your research paper or your essay. Chrome extension number two is going to be Grammarly. Now I've said this before, I'm going to say it again because it is just such an awesome extension. Grammarly will passively check your grammar mistakes, whether you're writing a thesis paper, any type of assignments, essays, you know, research papers, whatever the case is. So you make sure that you have really great grammar on your writing and that, you know, the professor could easily mark down all the bad grammars and bad spelling. And that definitely won't happen if you have Grammarly installed in your Google Chrome. What's great is that even though you have the best grammar ever, but you may not have the best sentence flow or you have some awkward phrases, Grammarly will catch that and will give you alternatives to better phrases and better sentencing on your paper. Extension number three is going to be the Just Read extension. Now, whenever you're reading articles or just your sources for your papers, there's a lot of ads that pop up on the bottom of your screen, on the side, on the margins. Like you don't care if they're single men or women locally in your area looking to find you. You just want to read the damn article, right? So that's why with this Just Read extension, it basically narrows everything down into a read view only mode that you can eventually customize yourself. So with just one click, you can basically condense everything into just text. And not only that, you can also select the text that you want to condense and make it into an easily readable format. You can customize the theme as well so you could have a light theme a dark theme and you can customize the font sizes and there's many more customization features with just read and what's great about it is that you can also print it out so it saves ink on those ads that you would have printed out otherwise if you're not using the just read extension extension number four is going to be clockify Clockify is basically a time management extension that monitors how long you've been working on your computer, if you're taking enough breaks to accommodate basically all the hard work that you're putting into your projects. So, you know, you could start the little timer and then you could time yourself, oh, you know, I've been working on this project for maybe an hour or two, I should take a 25 minute break. And then you could time that again, and then you could time again whenever you're starting on your assignment and so on and so forth. Now, what's great about this extension is that it has a team feature actually, where you can actually collaborate with other people in a group project, let's say, and then you can actually monitor their times and they can also monitor their own times of how long they've been working, what they've been doing. You know, they spent maybe an hour on researching about this specific section or maybe another hour on another section. And basically at the end of the day, you have this awesome analytics page that monitors how much you've spent and, and basically gives you all the numbers and all the charts that you'll need regarding your time management. Extension number five is gonna be Kami. Now you can master all your PDF files with Kami as it is a great extension for PDF files in general. So let's say you have PDF files of lecture notes, PDF files of homework, PDF files of assignments, right? And you wanna write down on them and you wanna highlight stuff and you can't do that with a regular PDF file, but with the Kami extension, you can definitely upload any PDF file you want, start annotating it, start highlighting it, add text box wherever you want and save it to a new PDF file. What's great about Kami is that you can also combine like two, three PDF files together and save it into one PDF file because you already know that there are some professors out there that require submission of well, only a one PDF file and you can basically combine all the PDF files together into one huge PDF file and submit that one file. Kami also has integrations with Google Drive and Google Classroom. So if you use any of those two platforms, then Kami just works great and it will integrate with them respectively. I think this extension is really useful to those who like to annotate their notes because it gives them a lot of freedom and customization on how they want to annotate, highlight, and underline text in their PDF files. And last but not least, Chrome extension number six is going to be Power Thesaurus. Power Thesaurus is a great resource if you're writing down a lot of redundant sentences, a lot of redundant words, and basically you can just pop up the extension on the top right corner and type in the word that you've been using a lot. Let's just say it's amazing or wonderful or maybe even good. 
and you can easily find synonyms for them. There's gonna be like little synonyms on the top and if you're not satisfied with those, you can just click those synonyms and it will bring you to a new web page with all those synonyms listed out below. So with that being said, those are all the six Chrome extensions that I have for you guys today. Definitely check them out and install them because they have actually been lifesavers for me in my college years. And if you did enjoy the video, then don't forget to hit the like and hit the subscribe button down below because I do post videos weekly. And with all that being said, I will catch you all next week. Bye guys. <laughs>